hi everyone how are you god bless you thank you for tuning in i just want to thank everybody that has subscribed thank you for everybody that is watching us and god bless you so much here i am my name is rebecca atieno as you all know <laughs> yes um what can i say it's been a long time 12 days it's too much isn't it yeah 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 where can i start where can i begin you know there's one thing i want to tell you patience pays a lot patience pays a lot someone say patience patience pays a lot mm. where did i hear this story from actually is a true life story many of you have heard it many of you now have not heard it i don't know who's heard it but i know some people have heard it because i've also said it somewhere it's been written somewhere, but let me tell people that I've not heard it at all. And those who have heard it, listen to it again, please. So, there were this um, couple, they lived in a house together. They were just newly wedded couple. So, this man, he got a job. It was quite a mile, I mean, some miles away from home. So, he told his wife, please, I've got a job. Very good job. But I've got a contract for 20 years. Can you promise me that you will not cheat on me? Can you promise me that you'll stay faithful? Because me too, I'm going to promise you. Whoa. Can you imagine? <laughs> Your husband going away for 20 years. You just got married. You've stayed together barely a week. How many of you will... Keep straight. I mean, keep faithful. It's only by the Spirit of God that someone can keep faithful. So, um, this man traveled, left his wife, and went. And when he went, um, he got a job. He worked for 20 years. Now, the time to go back home reached. His boss called him and told him, son, you have worked with me for 20 years, but I've got only two things to offer to you, which you must choose only one. I got your money here for 12, 20 good years. And on this side, my hand is empty, but I've got advice. Choose between your money and your advice. Which one do you want to go with home? Trust me. Everybody, look look at me. 20, 20 years. <laughs> I guess 99% of people will say, man, I've worked for a very long time. I can't go home empty-handed. What am I going to tell my wife? I'm going to be called names. So some of you will take the money. Some of you will take advice. But to be sincere, <laughs> Taking the advice was going to be very slim chance. So guess what happened? This man took the advice. He said, I choose advice. This man told him, no, go and sleep over it. Since you're leaving in the morning, make up your mind. So in the morning, he woke up. He went to his boss. He had kept it to heart that he's going to keep his mind to advice. I don't know what happened. Why choose advice? He left his wife, who he had just seen barely a week, just got married, going back 20 years empty-handed. Oh my goodness. What a mess. But let's see how mess, how mess it's going to be. So, this man told him three things. Never take a shortcut. Number one. Number two, never be curious for what is not your business. Number three, be patient. Do not react. I mean, do not take quick act, quick, quick action. Analyze before you take the action. And then he gave him a piece of bread and tell him, go on your way. At least you're not going to stay hungry on the way. So this man took the bread. And 
started making his way and uh, okay it was quite like few miles walk but it's gonna be like one or two hours walk really but he had some little little change in his pocket so when he walked he saw two roads and he was like he has someone the way to blah 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 where is it and this man said oh this, this way is shorter but that way will take you very long then he remembered that never take shortcut what does that mean some people you're looking for wealth and you're really rushing to get it you don't care whether it is blood money all you want is money you don't care whether it is money out of evil all you want is money but nothing that comes from Satan is permanent. And that is a shortcut that many people like to take. Some of us, we go out there to steal. Some of us, we go out there to scam people. Yes. And that is not the way to handle living for life. Because someplace, somewhere, you'll be caught up. And you'll not be able to scam again. Or you might be arrested. Or you might die in the verge of it. Or... When you've done blood rituals, they'll come back for you to tell you to, to pay back. So, <clears throat> this man physically, he remembered the advice of that man and he said, no, I won't take a shortcut. So, as he was walking along the other road, when he reached by some shops, he had some news that the other road, the other side, somebody got killed. And he said, wow, that was going to be me. If I took that road, that was going to be me. Whew. So he was tired and he said, oh, let me have a rest in these motels. You know these motels, small, small hotels? So he entered the hotel, motel, and he paid the little fee. And he entered, and he was there. In the night, he heard people screaming. And when he heard people screaming, he wanted to get up and go and check outside. Then he remembered Never be curious for what is not your business. Oh, he went back to his bed and covered his head with a blanket. And he slept until morning. So the housekeeper came in the morning, knocking the door. And he opened. And he said, how comes you're still alive? This man said, what do you mean? He said, you didn't hear the screams outside? This man said, how is it my business? It didn't concern me. And he said, do you know everybody that walked out of that door? They were killed. And this man said, wow. So if I chose that money, it was going to be worthless. Because I was going to be killed by, the, by them. So those are two things he has escaped. So when, when he came out, he walked, walked all the way. He reached home late in the night. And when he reached home in the night, oh my goodness, he saw two people by the window, you know, what you see in the night, the shadow of two people trying to kiss one another. And they were holding each other. And he, one was having a long hair and one was a short hair, different as a man and a woman. And he got so angry. And he said to himself, my wife couldn't keep him herself clean, couldn't keep that could he be faithful? Oh, he felt like going in there and getting a knife and just stabbing them. Then he remembered their advice. Be patient. Do not act too fast. Take your time and, and, and analyze. So he, could, he, he tried to calm down, but he was so much in pain about his wife's unfaithfulness. So he went and hid somewhere beside the houses, lay down there and slept. In the morning, he got up and knocked the door and his wife opened. Oh, sweetie, sweetheart, you're back. Oh my goodness. And this man did not even say hello to him. He was so angry. He didn't even know what to do to this woman. Then he said, darling, what's wrong? Then he said, I saw two people in that window. I saw a man and a woman. Who is that man? Then he said, oh my goodness, I forgot 
to tell you. Actually, how could I even get to you? When you left, I realized a week later that I was pregnant. And that's our son with his girlfriend, or let's say with his wife or fiance. And this man was so overjoyed. He said, so I am a father <laughs> of a 20-year-old boy. I mean, is he a boy? Yeah, even if we are 100 years, our parents will still call us boy and girl. And he was so happy and he jumped and he screamed. And, uh, you know, it was just, oh my goodness. I'm already excited, yet it's not me. <laughs> I'm saying the, I'm saying something which is already make, making me excited, and 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 it was so, and it was like, okay, please make me a cup of tea, and then they went in the house, and he gave his wife that bread, and his wife took the bread and cut the bread, and guess what happened? There was salary of twenty years wrapped inside the bread. But before then, remember, he had told his wife that he chose advice. And his wife was like, don't worry, we will survive. But you know what? <laughs> I'm just so excited. And they were rich. The family was saved. There was no death. This man had a son who's grown up enough to be a father. And that's what I'm trying to learn. That we need to ask God for wisdom. And we need to ask the Holy Spirit to guide our steps. That we may walk in the Lord and talk in the Lord. When you're guided by the Holy Spirit, you'll never go wrong. When you walk through the Holy Spirit, you never go wrong. When you get advice from the holy spirit you'll never go wrong the bible says rely not on your own understanding but from the word of the lord so this is enough for me to say that the spirit of god should dwell in us and everybody that is watching just know that jesus loves you jesus i worship you Jehovah, I worship you. Holy Spirit, I worship you. You alone are God in my life. You alone are God in my life. Everybody say Jesus, Jesus. I worship you, oh Jehovah, Jehovah, I worship you, Holy Spirit, I worship you, you alone are God in my life, you alone are God in my life. Say Jesus, Jesus, hey, I worship you, oh Jehovah, Jehovah, I worship you, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I worship you, you alone are God in my life, you in my life you are Lord my helper in my life you are Lord my healer in my life oh you are Lord my savior in my life you are Lord my protector in my life, oh, you are Lord, my Savior. In my life, you are the giver of my life.
life, Lord, in my life. You protected me, Baba, in my life. You are the Savior of my life, Lord. You are my life. I can't compare to anybody in my life. You are the only healer and comforter, Lord, in my life. You are my young way, you are my savior in my life. Oh, you alone, I got in my life. You are the reason that I am singing, Baba, in my life. You are the reason that I am praying, Daddy, in my life. Oh, you alone. You alone in my life. You alone, you alone, Jesus, in my life. Hallelujah. Praises be to God. God bless you. And see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And God bless you. Give me a smile. Bless you.